Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. You know it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a video for you guys. Today I'll be showing you how I made my Caribbean pumpkin soup, right? So to all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back to this channel and to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today, as I said, I'll be showing you how I make my Caribbean pumpkin soup. So for this, you're going to need some chocha. You're going to need some pumpkin. Here we got some Irish potato. Then we have some white yam. You're going to need some plain flour. You're going to need, so in this here I've got some um, chicken thigh. So, some chicken thigh. You're going to need some spring onion. Some thyme. You're going to need some form of chili pepper. You're gonna need a few carrots and you're gonna need some sweet corn optional if you wanna you're gonna need some uh, cock soup and some pumpkin soup so that's all the ing and you're also gonna need some salt so that's all the ingredients you're gonna need to make this delicious Caribbean pumpkin soup so let's get straight into it So I'm going to just remove the skins because we don't like skin on there. So I'm going to remove the skin like that. Just remove all the skins off it. So now I've removed the skin. I'm just going to um, chop my ties into two pieces so the size I want it to be in so that's all I'm going to do just so I'm just cutting them into the size I want it to be for my soup and as I said guys this is Jamaican or Carib slash Caribbean pumpkin soup As I said, I've already um, de-skinned my thighs and I've cut them in the size I want it to be. So now my my saucepan or my pot is on the stove boiling and I'm just going to go ahead and add in my chicken to this. So we're just adding the chicken like that. And we're just going to leave that to cook. So we're going to leave that to cook for like 10-15 minutes. Start adding some more stuff in. Just put the lid on and leave that. All right, extra uh, container here. Whilst my chicken is cooking there, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up my pumpkin, clean it up, wash it off, and cut it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my carrots. I'm gonna peel it and cut it up and get it ready in this um, bowl, ready to go in the pot. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just cleaning this out. Just. Just get that out of there. That's what you gotta do. Just gonna get it out. That's that. There. So that's out. And I'm just gonna cut it in little session first before I um before I peel it. Like so <laughs> it's easier to peel when you divide it into sections. When you try and cut it up in sections first before you go ahead and peel it. It makes it easier to peel. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the skin of the back here. Oops, makes it easy. I say it's hard to get it off, so
So now I'm just peeling um, the carrot here. Just removing the skin. Okay. So now I've peeled the skin of the pumpkin and I've removed the skin from the carrot. So now we're just going to cut it up into pieces. Just going to cut it up into pieces like that. And this is how I'm cutting it up. So as you can see. And be careful, you get to mind your fingers. So I'm just cutting up like that. And the reason I'm cutting up this small because it's easier to boil and I want it to mash up completely into my pot. So it gives it that rich, thick flavor or consistency. So, yeah. Just put it in the bowl. Do the same thing for the other one. Like that. So now that I've cut up the pumpkin, let me just go ahead and cut up these um, carrots. them into the the bowl with the pumpkin you might want to cut yours a bit smaller but I'm cutting mine into a little bit bigger size okay so now that I've cut these up what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rinse it off and it's time to add it to my pot. And this is ready to be added to my pot. So yeah, we just remove the lid and draw. And just add it in. So what you're going to do is add it to the boiling but with your, with your meat already in there, put that to the side and give it a little stir so you guys can see. So now I'm just going to leave that to boil and start working on my other ingredients. So now that I've had my pumpkin and my carrot and my chicken that's boiling, cooking in the pot right there. I'm going to go ahead and prepare my flour. So this is your dumpling. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare it for you guys and show you guys how I prepare it. So I've got a container here and a measuring flask or whatever with some water here. I've got my flour, which is I'm using plain flour. And I'm just going to add the amount I want in here, which is not a lot because I'm not making it for a lot of people. So... Around that amount should be fine. Pull back this up. Put it to the side. And you're going to add some salt. Don't need a lot of salt. When that is enough. Before you start um, kneading your flour, make sure your hands are clean and there's nothing on your hand. So what I'm going to do, I've already washed my hand already, but I'm going to wash it again for you guys. So now I'm just going to combine the salt and the flour together first before I add any water. And then I'm just going to make a little, little hole in the middle there like this little and then I'm just going to add some water. So I'm put that in, pull it in, I'm just folding it. Just kneading it in. You don't want to add too much at a time because you don't want to spoil it. Although if you spoil it, once you got more flour, you just add a bit more. If you had too much water to it. So this is how we make dumpling back home. Okay, 
Okay, come on in. So now this is how it looks after I've kneaded it. So that's my flour kneaded together. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not ready to add it to my pot yet. So I'm just going to leave it sitting to the side. So now I'm going to go ahead and prep my potatoes and my yam right here. So first thing, let me just get some water into the container, just, just to keep it fresh. So you want to have a bowl of water when you're putting it in there, just to keep it fresh. So I've got some water in here, just put it right there. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll start peeling my potato. So now that I've finished um, peeling them, I'm just going to cut them up into the size that I want. So it's a size preferable to you. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting them into the size that I feel is okay to me and how I want it. So now I'm just going to go straight on and peel my white yam. So first, let's cut this off here. I love a soup, you know, especially on a Saturday. I love a pumpkin soup, me. I love a pumpkin soup. And I know you all, loads of you all out there love pumpkin soup too. So, it's nice to know how to make it. Especially if you're not from the Caribbean and you don't know how to make it, you can always revert to this video and it will show you how to make some delicious pumpkin soup for you and your family. Put this away. So now we're just gonna slice this like that. And that's okay for me there. Put it in. I mean, it's a little bigger. I could, you could slice it like that as well. And do the same thing for this here. that's enough okay so I think that's enough so for this one we can just wrap it up back and we can save it for later so now I'm just gonna check on this part here and it looks lovely so far but um, the pumpkin is boiling out lovely the chicken look good so I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding my dumpling to the pot Okay. Yeah, I got my dumpling here that we already prepared early on so we're just gonna go ahead and just knead this a little bit again quickly and get it ready you don't have to do this but this is how we do it back home <laughs> so basically when you do it like this you're counting how many people you're making it for you count your dumpling in your pot. <laughs> it's amazing, you know. Okay. You don't want to make big ones either. You just make some little neat ones. So there you have it there. Put them in. Show you show you I make it again. So all I did was just fold it in like this. You see, then I 
Press it down so. Everybody else make it for you. You can make it like a ball. You can make it this way if you want to. Like a ball. And then you just pressing it down so. But I prefer to do it this, this way. So, um, as you can see, it is cooking lovely. It is coming on nicely. Can you see that? Only if you could be in this kitchen and smell what, smell, what I'm smelling in here. Gosh. So as you can see, my dumpling is already in there cooking. So now it's time for me to add in my yam and my Irish potato. So here I'm going to be adding my, my yam first. And then I will add in my Irish potato. So now I got a chocho here and I'm just going to peel the skin off the chocho and then we're just going to add this to the pot as well. See that? So I'm just gonna add them into the pot here. And as I said, I always cut up my fruit, my my food, and have them in some water because it keeps it fresh. So now we're gonna get our sweet corn here. You can see my sweet corn is already um chopped up into pieces and I'm just gonna rinse it off that's all I'm going to do that's all I'm going to do is rinse it off and add it to the pot we're just gonna add them to your pot just like that Give it a meat stir if you want to. See that? Nice. So now it's been cooking for a while now, and it's time for me to add my cock soup and my pumpkin soup. So what I always do, I don't I don't like to put it directly into the pot like that, I like to mix it up first. So I get my soup spoon and I can get it out of this. So I get my soup spoon here and what I do is I take some of the soup out like that maybe one more no matter if you take the carrot up or anything so that's how I always do it so I take it up like that Put the lid on for now, and then I empty out the soup mix 
into the into this here like that I'll give it a stir and just this is just you mixing it all out because when you put it in the pot it tends to give you lumps of bits that's left back but when you put it in here it, it, you know you mix it out more better and I'll just do the same thing for the capsule So now I think I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna turn the fire down a little bit. So now I'm happy with that. I am going to add it, add it to my soup. So you just put it in while it's mixing it. Lovely. You see how that coming out nice and lovely there? That's how you want your pumpkin soup to look. And you can't see them lumps. You know, when you when you put it straight into the pot, you end up with lumps, like lumps of it. You have to be crushing it out with a spoon. But when you don't do it so, it's better this way. We need to do it this way. Okay. So we leave that to boil, to cook a little bit more. So now... It's time for me to put in the final few ingredients. So we've got our two pepper here. You can just use one, but I'm just using two. We got our thyme and we got our spring onion. So we're just gonna put this in there just like that. Just put it in. You can give it a stir if you want to. Same way. See that? Look at that, guys. Just look at that. You see how lovely that look? You can. You can smell it. Woo! Smell that. Smell. My kitchen is on fire. Smell nice. I wonder when you ever say no. <laughs> so that no. We're gonna leave that and let it simmer for a little bit more. Around roughly around 10, 10, 5 more minutes, and it should be ready to go. So a few minutes remaining before it's finished. So what I'm gonna do is add in my flavoring salt. Which is an answer. So you just put a little bit. You don't need a lot. This just helps to bring out the flavor way more. So that's all you need there. And all you need to do is just mix it in. Wow, that smells so nice. And you just leave that for around um, two to three more minutes. And then we'll be ready to go. So guys, it has been my soup, my pumpkin soup has been cooking for a while now. And I think it is ready. So let me show you guys a close-up of what it looks like. My finished pumpkin soup. Guys, this is smelling so delicious. Yeah. So guys, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more, of this type of video please don't forget to tell me in the comment section down below and guys again if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share for more okay i'll see you guys in the next video take care be safe bye